Hello, my name is Zed Noor and I am born in England, the city of Sheffield. I have lived here since I was a baby. Today what they'll be presenting to you is the poetry that they've learned. And this poetry is something that's been around for over 1400 years. We are going to read not. It's like a song, but we can sing not. We are going to read a Arabic not, a Urdu not, and a English not. And we're going to show everybody that we have a voice. My background is working in IT, however, I tend to volunteer and help out in the local mosque in Fairvale, where we work with students from ages of five up until the ages of 14, 15, which is the general age in which they would take their GCSE exams. They would attend the mosque from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. in the evening. And what that would consist of is that the students would partake in studies of the holy book, which is known as the Holy Quran. They would learn how to recite it in a different language, in Arabic. So the language and the letters are totally different to what they've been brought up with in the primary and in nursery education. Other topics that we would cover are the biography and the story and the histories of the Prophet, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, who brought the religion of Islam. Now these stories would be taught to the students so they understand the ethics and the morals that are involved within Islam and follow the teachings according to Muhammad, peace be upon him, such as practicing patience, which is something that's needed within current society, understanding and respecting those around us, irrespective of race or religion. I have learned so much things in my life. One of them things were going to mosque and how to respect my mum. The mosque tells you everything. It tells you how to read the Quran, tells you all about the Prophet wasalam, and the angels and the holy books. It has made me a better person in my life. It, it makes me respect my parents and my friends and my teachers. Without the mosque, I would probably be a naughty kid on the streets.